Hi, everybody. We are in step two, creating a safe space. I have a couple of resources for you here, and I'm just going to go over them really briefly with you. So I created a, the safe space description here uh, to offer a place where members feel comfortable, they're aware that they are able to connect with others, and they feel they can develop a trust between the members and the host of the community. Um, the host needs to establish a sense of belonging and camaraderie within the membership. So the first um, framework I have examples of uh, by the community roundtable is their uh, community engagement framework. You can look at the link there that goes over a little bit more detail and some videos. But basically, they talk about this connection, the comfort, connection, trust, and partnership model. So. Uh, people have to be comfortable that they can uh, connect with people and validating it by, you know, they're validating your community by looking at the landing page, then they're joining. And then so here's like maybe the outliers of where they convert from like outside member to internal member. And then they're saying they view something, they like it, they share it, they're responding, maybe some creating some validation there as far as that they really enjoy the content and that they're going to stick around. Um, connection is more in the framework of, you know, they're really engaged. They're uploading their image. They're doing their profile. They have ideas what they want to share or their documents or resources. Um, then asking and answering questions of all of those different who, what, where, when, why, and then the partnership aspect of um, maybe connecting in more detail further. So that's um, one of the engagement processes you can look at there, and there's more resources around that. Um, in the beginning of a community building, it's important to establish these beliefs up front by using language that's been spoken by community members or potential members when you conduct the discovery calls or men ideal member interviews, what we call them. Um, you can use their language then to allow them to feel like uh, this is a place for them, increasing the likelihood that they are um, comfortable inside the community. They feel like they can share and support others. I did a podcast episode with Karen East, who's a good friend of mine, uh, about how to create a safe space. So you can check out that podcast. I have the link here to that um, episode. And then I had some suggestions here on how to get started. Um, we talked in the past section about creating an onboarding plan, maybe uh, reviewing that concierge onboarding to identify maybe who would be good to either, if you haven't talk to them yet, maybe who identify who would be good for a concierge onboarding call or revisiting a one-on-one -on -one call with somebody to get feedback from them. In addition to collaborate with other members, so connecting them during the live call, maybe in a breakout room. We talked a little bit about that in the onboarding section. And then there's a FAQ start here and I have an example to that. So those are the resources for this, this uh, step, and we'll go on to the uh, step three, which is, I, which is, I should say, uh, getting social, making it fun. So thanks.